Oh, hey there, people. How the frigs are going on this Wednesday afternoon? That's right, it's 2.30 in the afternoon. I got up super late again. Fuck me, eh? But uh, today, what we're going to do is take a rip over to Home Repo and see a guy about getting some anchors. Get that shelf hung. I also want to take a rip over to the grocery store, Freshco, and uh, get some more coffee stuff. Starting to run out. So that'd be my plan for today. So I'm just going to drink my coffee for now, and we'll get on with it. Oh, by the way, one more week, then we get our beer. Yeah. Just loaded those two Claptons in that I made the other day, which is yesterday. And they're chooching. Nice. And we got it built. I'm vaping like a champ. Oh, yeah. When that first coffee doesn't cut it, it's time to step up your game. Introducing Ractagino. That's right, people. Klingon coffee. This shit is so friggin' potent. I bought a bag of it about five, six months ago from a site online and it's got to be some of the strongest damn coffee I ever had. There's a lot of milk in there. That's how, that's how light it got. This shit will put chest on your hair. I shit you not. The strongest stuff I've ever had in my life. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Wow. Does that ever hit the spot? But you know what? One thing I used to hate about back in the day was going into work when there was good TV shows on that I liked. See, I don't got cable. So, I don't got... Fuck, I don't have cable. I don't have satellite. Therefore, I can't watch the shows as they air. Yes, I do understand. This is my fault. I should probably have cable if I want to watch TV so I can watch the show the same time as everybody else. What used to piss me off at Ontera was we had two guys working there who had no problem spoiling the fuck out of a show for you. You go into work and they'd be like, Oh, did you see... Uh, uh, the walking dead fucking so-and-so died or blah 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 and they would just blow the whole fucking show out of a 45 minute show and they were able to kill it with like eight words and it was like holy crap dude I didn't see it yet oh I'm, I, I'm sorry figured you would have seen it last night I figured because it played last night you know so I figured you would because you know it did play last night so I kind of kind of thought maybe you'd see it last night like how come you didn't see it last night? It's like, holy shit. See, I watch a lot of my shit from Cody because, well, I really don't understand why you should be paying for cable service and then they put advertisements on it to make more money. It doesn't make sense. It's like if you were paying for YouTube, like 10 bucks a month for YouTube, but they still rolled ads on the YouTube feed to make more money. Isn't that classified as double dipping? Like, I thought they made their money from the... Uh, from the adverts, not from... And cable is so fucking expensive. Like, uh, Kojiko, just to get a decent amount of channels, you're looking at 120 bucks a month for, a, for like, two, 300 channels that all play the same shit. You know, and I don't watch enough TV to justify it. There's only a couple shows I like, like The Walking Dead, Supernatural, Simpsons sometimes, um, Supergirl, and uh, DC Legends of Tomorrow. I gave up on Big Bang Theory. That show's getting stupid. But the rest, those are the only ones I really enjoy watching. And Cody does that, and all I gotta do is pay for an internet feed. And right now, the streaming laws in Canada are so gray area that it's not illegal. So, because you're not literally downloading or uploading, you're just kind of temporarily snatching the datas and then ejecting it back out, looping it through a codec, and then out it goes. You're not physically downloading anything. So there is really no law in Canada on streaming yet, so much to the point that you can legally buy boxes to do this on local sites like Kijiji and even better yet, Walmart. Walmart sells G-boxes which are running on the Kodi OS, which you can literally install all of these apps on it, like Exodus and all the other ones, to watch all the TV you want. So, why would why would I waste money on Kojiko or one of these sites, Kojiko or Bell TV, or when, when I don't need to? 
because I get that shit for free. Oh, well, not really, because I gotta pay for the internet usage, right? And data caps and all that fucking nonsense. So, really doesn't make any sense. But people who spoil shit. And here I thought by leaving, uh, like, once I left Ontario, that'd be over with it, because, like, with The Walking Dead, for instance, I like to wait until April when it's all done. Download all, whatever it is, 15 episodes or whatever it may be. And then sit down with a 2-4 and just binge watch it. Watch it back to back. Because one thing I hate doing is waiting seven days to find out what happened next. I want to know, like, right away. So I like to binge watch. Can't do that with The Walking Dead because I'm on social media. You go on Facebook after The Walking Dead and everybody's like, Oh my god, I can't believe this happened! Then the memes start and it's like, fuck! It's like the only way to binge watch is to disconnect yourself from social media, don't watch anybody's videos, uh, so on and so forth. Otherwise, you're going to get everything spoiled for you. Also, if you're wondering why I haven't left yet to go to Home Depot to pick up that shit, it's because I'm going to wait until after the rush. What rush? The rush of people getting off work and going out and doing stuff. Uh, we're going to head out there probably in about an hour and a half. It'll be about 6 o'clock, and then we'll head over to Home Repo and pick up those anchors. I'm wondering if I have some in the garage. I know i got Marettes and shit. But I'm wondering if I have anchors because, honestly, I checked there and there's no stud. And he obviously used something to mount that shelf to the wall. You know what's funny? Flathead screwdriver? Squarehead screwdriver. Wow, the continuity is amazing. But I do want to get that shelf up and running so I can get my shit off my desk. And have it all on display off to the side there so you'll see that there in probably tomorrow's vlog or even later on tonight. All the mods and stuff back there. Could be kind of cool. Could be kind of cool. Especially if I'm doing a vape review. I could sit there and have all my mods on the side of me. And talk about it. And I don't know. Fuck. Just a thought. Just a freaking thought, people. But yeah, I'm just waiting for a little bit later of that. And I want to drink my rack to Gino. And then uh, we'll definitely head off to Home Repo and pick up what we need. We'll talk to the guys there and see what they say. Pick up what we need and we'll come back and install her and get the shelf hung and it'll be freaking awesome. I'm wondering if something like this would work. 5 sixteenths by a half sleeve screw anchors. There's no reviews on it, but uh, you know, that would slide right into the hole on the shelf, right into the hole in the wall that I'm going to drill out and then tighten it down with a ratchet and she should grip and hold, right? Maybe. I was also thinking something like this might do the job too. I love the description. Awesome anchor with screws. Holy fuck, six, five dollars a piece? Better be friggin' awesome. These are the kind that I know of. Easy drywall anchor screw. I would need some sort of a, uh, a washer or something between the screw to uh, make the bind, but uh, so that it holds onto the shelf. But that would work too. Maybe I'll go check the comments on the video you guys uh, I posted where I said getting supplies and see what suggestions you guys made, and then uh, we'll figure it out from there. Just check the comments and the only person, well there's two people who mentioned things. One person said you don't need to find studs, just use tap screws. No. We're gonna find, well we're not gonna find studs, we're gonna use anchors. And another person said use anchors. I believe it was Randy Bobandi who said just use drywall anchors. So, a lot of people think Randy Bobandi's a troll. Meanwhile he's the only one who gave an honest opinion on what to use. So, that's what we're gonna do. Uh, we're probably gonna use those drywall anchors. Uh, I'll go to the shop and see what they recommend and then uh, go from there. So let's friggin get her done once this coffee's done and like I said we'll wait another hour and then go so traffic calms the fuck down. Holy shit before I go anywhere I need to eat some food. My guts are rumbling because they're empty. I know eh? But you're so fat. Just fucking leave off your fat fat ass. Eh? Eh? Yeah yeah whatever. Anyway just gonna make a ramen noodle. That'll do. So yeah getting a better look at the shelf. She's got a good weight to it. I'd say about 10 pounds. I don't think this is the ex's shelf. She actually brought this with her, never took it back. I've had it for like fucking three years now. Claiming it. But anyway, I like the shelf spacing on it. It's nice and wide, so I should be able to fit the mods in there, no problem. Like I said, I need to clean it. I haven't gotten around to doing that. But, uh, you know, I don't think she actually had this hung at her parents place. I think she just had it sitting on her dresser or something. And... Did you just fucking burp? Gross. You know, and I thought about doing that too, just sitting it on the uh, the white desk, putting the shelves in it, and then putting my mods on it and having it on display, and have my mixing gear all in front of it. That is still an actual option. 
I just figured hanging it would be better, but I could just sit it on that table behind me and put all my shit into it. And that way there it'll be all off my desk and on display elsewhere. That's what I want to do. What I'm going to do right now is clean all this smut out of it. There we go. Cleaned it all up. Looks pretty good. I might bring it upstairs. Got the hamper acting as a support base, but something like that. Match it to the wall, and then I can put my mods in it. Probably center it a little bit better, but, you know, something along that line there. And then just fucking frat the frat! And done like dinner. Shelf is in. Hopefully it works. Who knows? I'm just gonna let her... Well, I'm not gonna sit it up there. It's not gonna stay on its own. We'll just sit it on this chair for now. Probably figure it out, but basically we got... A couple holes. The other thing I was thinking about was clearing off this table over here and setting it up over here. Just gotta get this fucking TV out of here and figure out where to put it. And then get this thing out of here and figure out where to put it. And then just put the uh, shelf right there. And then I can have all my mods sitting on the table with my mixing station. Could be good. Fuck hanging it. I might just do this. Then I can shoot a lot of my reviews right here in front of the mixing station and the mod display. That'd be a lot better. And then, because uh, if I put it over here, it's going to sit too low below that other shelf. If I put it over here, it'll be on the table with all my other vape gear. So that'd be awesome. So that's what I'm going to do. Right on. Right on. It's on there. It's good and stable. Shouldn't move anywhere. Let's put some mods on it. Alrighty, well, I wasn't able to fill it up completely, but uh, there you go. There's a little two-shelf pick of the collection so far. So, we got the Drip Box by Kanger, the Joytech Cuboid Mini, Pico Mini with Cubist Tank, E-Grip 2, the Lux with the Limitless XL, the Rulo 200RX with the Smock TFV8 Cloud Beast, iStick 30, Snow Wolf 200, iStick iPower 80 with the Aspire Quad Flex Pack. Another 80 with the Griffin. Pico Mini Squeeze. And the E-Leaf iStick 100 with the Ethereum. And I just put a vape shakes down below. So that's pretty cool. I like having this display. This looks pretty good. Pretty good indeed. Yes, I do say so myself. Almost looks semi-pro. Yup. Now instead of having my desk all covered in friggin' e-darts, I can just put them up there. And when I want to change out, I can just go ahead and do that. And have a chooch. Saves having to leave the house today, so that's a bonus. Another cool thing is I got all this space here in front of the shelf to do like e-dart reviews on a white tabletop. I got my tripod on the floor over there so I can easily set it up and have it uh, where I'm sitting behind it and do my reviews on the white part. Of course, you'll see a shadow of the fucking camera. Hmm, not to worry about that. Ah, just throw more light on it, not a big deal. But, uh, all in all, it's pretty sweet. I do say so myself. Do you guys remember that time I wanted to make shake and bake chicken? But I screwed up. Thought this was shake and bake. Well, guess what? I have shake and bake. I had it the whole time. Found it in there. So, tonight for dinner, hey now, I'm gonna go ahead, shake and bake my two pieces of chicken here. We're gonna air fry that shit. Yeah, coat it up. Oh boy, that's gonna be great. Anyway, the potatoes and gravy are done. There be the gravy. Walk. Just waiting on the chicken. You know, it's funny, I would have never have known about air frying or air fryers in general if it wasn't for kid behind the camera's video. And I think he only uses air fryer like three times. I haven't seen it once in a video since. A lot of the cooking they do seems to be either in the frying pan or they order in or they're just not eating that episode. Um, or they're not eating on that episode. They're obviously eating every day because then you die. But um, yeah, I haven't seen him use his air fryer in a long freaking time. Wonder if he even still has it. Maybe he got rid of it. Maybe it broke. Uh, I thought I had the same one as him, the Phillips, but it turns out he bought the cheapo one from Walmart in the U.S. So. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what ever happened to that. Should ask him and find out. Oh my dear god, those chickens look fantastic. Bon appetit, it's time to go eat. Alrighty guys, well I have my dinner 
and I put up a post on the Northern Life webpage, on the Facebook fan page, Northern Life Entertainment, asking people, what game do you want to see us stream tonight? I figured we'll get the audience involved, seeing how you guys are the ones watching, we'd ask you. Gave you guys three options, ARC, GTA Online, or Cards Against Humanity. And after the polls came in, you guys decided Cards Against Humanity. So, that's going to be happening right now. So, I figured I'd grab what's left of my beer, which is not much, and uh, we'll get upstairs, grab a dirt off the shelf, sit down, relax, play some Cards Against Humanity. Oh, fuck yeah. Holy shit, people. We just got done playing Cards Against Humanity, and uh, we only played one round because the game was set up to have 15 points. Figuring we weren't going to have a lot of people playing with us. Turns out we had a full friggin' house. And when you got a full friggin' house, a bunch of people playing, it takes a little bit of time to get through 15 points on the game. Anybody who's ever played Cards Against Humanities knows exactly what I'm talking about. Oh, but that's over with. And so is that. Anyway, not much else going on tonight. We got done gaming. My shelf is up. It looks awesome. So, um, by up I mean it's on my desk and anchored well, so it won't be going anywhere. Right on, right on. I think I'm gonna shut the vlog down here, people. I caught this thing a while ago when I walked out of my room. He was straight up pile driving the cat. And I don't mean wrestling pile driving. I mean the other kind. We're trying to make a new hybrid of babies. Thank God he's neutered and she's spayed. Cause that'd have been fucked up. Don't even want to consider what that could have looked like. Betcha that would look weird, eh? <laughs> anyway, I just fired my laundry into the laundry because I need to do my laundry so I have some clean pants and shirts to wear. Jesus, I got attacked by a fucking roaming scampers. She just came out of nowhere. And I do believe I'm going to shut her down from here and carry on tomorrow. So, tomorrow's back to work. Four days on, three days off. Let's pit up at her and have at her. So on that note, people, thanks for watching my video today. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, click that like button. Any questions, comments, or concerns, down below they go. And until next time, people, keep on vlogging.